Okay. We'll now call this meeting of the Jacksonville City Council to order. I want to welcome everyone who's in attendance tonight and also those that are viewing the meeting on G10 television. Uh, to begin the meeting uh, tonight, uh, we're going to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. And I would ask Roland, uh, members of the Roland Thunder uh, chapter that are here tonight, if you would lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, if you could come up front and lead us, please. And we'll follow that with the invocation by John Carter, our city attorney. Please rise. <laughs> States of America and, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, under God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our Heavenly Father, as always, we pause to give you thanks. To give you thanks for the blessings you so graciously bestow upon us, individually and as the city of Jacksonville. Tonight we mourn and remember two public servants who we've lost in the last few days, former Commissioner, County Commissioner Larry Fitzpatrick and Board of Adjustment member Herb DeFusser. We give thanks for their service and we pray for their families during this time of loss. We pray for our service members who are serving us here and around the world, for their safety and for their anxious families. And as always, we pray for our mayor and for our council that your guidance and that your direction would always be with them. All this we ask in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Council, you have at your place a copy of the agenda, proposed agenda for tonight's meeting. I will entertain a motion to adopt at this time. Move approval. Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further comment? Here, none. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? Next, we have the approval of the minutes for two meetings, a September 16th, 2014 special workshop meeting and a September 16th, 2014 Regular meeting. Mayor Phillips, I move that we approve the September 17th, uh, 2014 special workshop meeting minutes and the regular meeting minutes for said date as presented. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed. Next, we have some presentations and I'm going to come around front for those. <clears throat> Tonight, I'd like to begin with uh, recognizing uh, a, a young man who has become a very good friend uh, of the city of Jacksonville and of myself, and uh, we've worked together, uh, and, and I think we've made some uh, very decisive changes, and, and we've done some things, I believe, that uh, will help foster and further those relationships between our Marine Corps base at Camp Lejeune and the city of Jacksonville for years to come. I'd like to ask the acting commander for MCI East, Colonel James W. Clark Jr., if you'll join me up front, please. Colonel Clark. Good to have you with us. It is my honor to recognize this evening an outstanding American, Colonel James Clark. Colonel Clark is a native of Tolesboro, Kentucky. I tried to talk him into not going back there, but he's, he's going to go. He was commissioned a second lieutenant in the Marine Corps following his graduation from Moorhead State University with a bachelor's degree in business administration. He also has an MS in management from the Naval Postgraduate School and an MS in Nas National Resource Strategy. Colonel Clark is a graduate of the Marine Corps Command and Staff College and the Industrial College of the Armed Forces. During his distinguished military career, Colonel Clark has commanded at company, battalion, and regimental levels. 
His personal decorations include the Legion of Merit with one gold star, Defense Meritorious Service Medal, Meritorious Service Medal with four gold stars, the Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medal, and the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal. <clears throat> Colonel Clark has been serving as the Deputy Commander of, of MCI East, Marine, that's Marine Corps Installations East, at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune since July 23rd, 2013, and as Acting Commander until June 18th until October 19th, 2014. Colonel Clark will uh, soon be retired after nearly 30 years of service, of, of dedicated service during his outstanding career in, in the United States Marine Corps. The city appreciates the role he has played in developing the spirit of cooperation and respect that exists between the base and the local community, especially your leadership on the cooperative planning group, which we both serve together on. Uh, Colonel, your friendship and your service has benefited all of our citizens, and you will be missed. We wish you and your wife good health and best wishes. And I'm going to add here, if it doesn't work out for you in Kentucky, you always have a home here. And I've told you that before. Sure. Uh, for your service, the city would like to present this token of appreciation to you. And this is a little drawing of our or artwork of our Freedom Fountain out here. And this is presented to Colonel James W. Clark, Jr. for outstanding beneficial cooperative relationships while serving as the acting commander for MCI East, Marine Corps Installations East, Camp Lejeune. <laughs> If I, could, if I could say just a few things, not to extend the meeting anymore, but I've been, uh, been coming to Jacksonville, North Carolina since 1986, and I got to tell you, my wife and I loved the community back then, and that has only grown. Jacksonville gets better and better every year, and, but the thing, the one consistency is the people. The people were the salt of the earth back then, and they still are, and I love the small town feel of Jacksonville and the friendships that I've made. During my time at MCI East, working with the, the county and the city have been the most enjoyable aspects of the job, and I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss you, Mr. Mayor, members of the council, Dr. Woodruff, uh, Ron Massey. You all have been good friends to me, and you've been, you've been good partners. What's good for this county, the city, and the base is, I mean, it's good for everybody. And I think that's, that's the road we need to stay on because uh, there's a lot of goodness in that. But uh, I... If it weren't for the state of Kentucky, I'd be a resident of Onslow County <laughs> or the city of Jacksonville, but Kentucky pulls too strong for me. So um, thank you all so much, and it's been a real honor to work with you. Thank you, sir. And I would like to present to uh, you with a copy of our coin here of the city of Jacksonville. It also has on it the Freedom Fountain, as a matter of fact, and I uh, hope you'll carry that with you and remember us. And I sure will. When you're in, your, in the bluegrass state there and enjoying your retirement. And again, like I said, it has been a pleasure working with you, and you are an exemplary Marine, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Tell you what, we've had a lot, a lot of uh, Marine Corps command officers that have come through here, but sir, you're one of the best, and we really appreciate all that you've done here in Jacksonville. Uh, next, I'd like to uh, recognize, uh, actually, I'd like to ask Paul Levesque, a.k.a. J.D. Weston. I'm sorry. You never will, will you? You'll, you'll never let me live it down either, will you? <laughs> That, that inspires me even more. I will go get my eyes checked like my wife told me to now. Okay. I'd like to have the rest of the group come on up. I, 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 got, I had you all up here for the pledge, but I want to get you up here with me. Hey, it's not going to hurt you, you know. 
It ain't going to hurt you. <clears throat> the Department of Veterans Affairs has designated the city of Jacksonville as an official regional site for Veterans Day observances for the, for the fourth year in a row. <clears throat> Jacksonville is one of 67 communities nationwide and only in one of the only four sites in North Carolina to have received this award. Rolling Thunder organizes the city's annual Veterans Day Parade, which this year will be on Saturday, November 8th. Mr. Paul Levesque, president of the veterans group Rolling Thunder, will now report to the council on, his, on this prestigious designation and will present the city with a certificate of recognition. Thank you. First of all, some of, for some of you who are probably wondering, what's a motorcycle club doing up here representing veterans? Uh, I'd like to let you know that we're not a motorcycle club. Rolling Thunder is a veteran support organization whose primary mission is to uh, promote and advocate for the uh, full accountability of our POWs and MIAs. And our second mission is to help veterans from all wars. And that's what we do. And uh, this uh, event that we have been hosting and sponsoring for the, for the now 10th year, uh, we came about, uh, this is only the 19th year in Jacksonville, but it just came about from the organizers who we're burned out doing it, and the chapter decided in 2005, let's do it. And we've been doing it ever since. And the parade's been growing uh, in leaps and bounds since then. We've got a lot, lot of participation. Uh, the partnership with the city of Jacksonville can't be any better. I can't say enough about them. And, and the base and all the military support that we get from the uh, uh, air station, uh, Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune and, and other tenant commands is outstanding as well. And, and the public. We, we just have a tremendous amount of support for this parade. And I, I can't say enough about uh, what this means to the veterans, and that's what we're all about for the veterans. Uh, we found out about this uh, regional site designation back in 2011, uh, actually 2010, and it was too late to apply for it. So in 2011, I made sure I was on time, and I've been on time uh, from 2011 till the present. And we've submitted the application through the Veterans Affairs and uh, have uh, received this recognition as a re regional site for the last four years. And I think it's a pretty uh, uh, honorable distinction to have that for the city of Jacksonville. So without further ado, I'll read the uh, certificate from the, the Veterans Affairs. Department of Veterans Affairs, the Veterans Day National Committee, hereby designates the city of Jacksonville, North Carolina, as a regional site for the observance of Veterans Day 2014. Signed by Robert A. McDonald, Secretary of the Veterans Affairs, Chairman, Veterans Day National Committee. Mayor. Affairs Office sends us uh, a limited amount of veteran, official Veterans Day posters, and I would like to present uh, the city with, with two of those at this time. Uh, Chairman of the Board Ray Teachout has those. And uh, if you've seen the flyers and if you've seen the, the advertising on the G10, you might see some similarities with that poster. Uh, we did plagiarize it a little bit, but. Uh, <laughs> Hope you can put it in a prominent spot here in the city hall, so that when people coming in and out, we'll uh, we will do that. We will absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thank and uh, looking forward to uh, seeing you guys on the eighth of November, right? Yes, yeah. sir. We're gonna, we're gonna have a parade, aren't we? We're gonna yeah. have a parade. Everybody, come out and join us. Thanks, Paul. Thank
Raven, I'll ask you and the members of your Leather and Lace Motorcycle Club if you will join me up here. Good to see you all back again. Hi. How you doing? Ladies, gentlemen. Hey. Well, thank you very much for coming. Um, Leather and Lace Motorcycle Club is sponsoring their annual event to raise funds for breast cancer awareness and research. Uh, I filled her shoes symbolizes that men too can get breast cancer mm -hmm. and the proceeds will benefit uh, research being conducted by John Hopkins Avon Foundation Breast Center. I'm very pleased to present a proclamation to the Leather and Lace Motorcycle Club and at this time I will read this proclamation. <clears throat> Whereas prevention and early detection are key to winning the fight against breast cancer and although the exact cause is unknown, regular screenings are the most effective way to detect this disease early and save lives. And whereas breast cancer is not gender biased, and 1% of people diagnosed with breast cancer are actually men. Of those men, there is a 25% higher mortality rate than women. And whereas in North Carolina, the projected new cases of breast cancer for this year have already reached 13,063 and of that, approximately 10% are male breast cancer with 223 cases in Onslow County alone. And whereas of 2014, there are 23 confirmed cases of male breast cancer among Marines from Camp Lejeune. And whereas in raising awareness of breast cancer and the research needed to combat it, a one mile walk where men will wear women's shoes to symbolize that they too can get breast cancer is being sponsored by Leather and Lace Motorcycle Club. And whereas the I Fielder Shoes Walk will be held on Sunday, November 2nd, 2014 at New River Harley Davidson starting at noon. That's November 2nd, 2014 at the New River Harley Davidson starting at noon. Now therefore I, Sammy Phillips, the mayor of the city of Jacksonville, do hereby proudly proclaim the week of November 2nd through November 8th, 2014, as I filled her shoes, Breast Cancer Awareness Week in the city of Jacksonville, and I encourage all citizens to recognize and support this observance. And I will now present you with this. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that microphone keeps getting in the way, don't okay. <laughs> <laughs> Our fourth, our fourth year doing this and my third year here and I found that I have a terrible case of stage fright every time I come up here so this time I wrote it down <laughs> so bear with